This is 2022, paper one, question one, algebra question. It's worth 30 marks. We're on part A, which says, find the two values of m, where m is an element of z, which, for which the following equation in x has exactly one solution, in bold, one solution. And they give us the equation of 3x squared minus mx plus 3 equals to 0. Okay, now there is definitely a diff few different ways of doing this question. The way I would do it is I would latch on to the idea of one solution, which means that it has equal roots. It means it has, if the solutions are the same, it's a quadratic, it must have equal roots. Which means that the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, must equal to zero. If we fill this out, we can see here that our a is 3, our b is minus m, and our c is also 3. So now what I'm going to have is one equation with one unknown, and that unknown is m, and that will allow me to get my answer. So in this case here, we have minus m squared minus 4 times 3 times 3 equals to 0. If you multiply this out, you get that m squared equals to 36. So m is plus or minus 6. Okay, perfect. So that's part A there. One of the ways to do it, and that's the way that I would do it. Part B, which actually branches off on this idea of the discriminant, says explain why the following equation in X has no real solutions. Okay, so it has no real solutions. First of all, what I would do is I would turn this equation, the 2X plus 3 squared plus 7 equals to 0, I would turn that into a quadratic. I'd multiply out the brackets, so 4x squared uh, plus 12x plus 9 plus 7 equal to 0. And then I would add the like terms. I would add the like terms. Now, having no real solutions doesn't mean you, go, you have to go and solve it here. I'm going to latch on to this. If we are talking about no real solutions, this will be the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, being less than 0. So if I can prove that's less than zero, then we have no real solutions. Our a in this question is four, b is 12, and c is 16. So if I throw it in here, 12 squared minus four times four times 16, perfect. So if you put this entire left-hand side into your calculator, I think that's 144, and I think that's 256. So 256, you put it all in at once though, if you take those away from each other, that gives you 112, but negative. And because that is less than zero, that proves, therefore, that it has no real roots. And definitely say that part at the end for the example. Perfect, so that's part B. If we go on to C part one, it says, show that, be careful of that, show that x minus equals to minus one, so x equals to minus one is not a solution of this. The easiest way to show it's not a solution is to sub it in and it won't equal to zero. If you had a root, if it was a solution, you'd get zero equals to zero. So if you put that into your calculator, three times minus one squared plus two times one plus five equals to zero. When you put the left-hand side in, you get six, which is not equal to zero. Therefore, it is not a solution. So that's C part one. And then C part two says, find the remainder when 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 is divided by x plus 1. That is, find the value of C when 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 is written in the form 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals to x plus 1, ax plus b plus c. Okay, so it's looking for the remainder here. The easiest way to do this is to do some long division. So x plus 1 into 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. x into 3x squared goes 3x. Multiply that in front, 3x squared plus 3x. Subtract that, we get minus x plus 5. x into minus x gives me minus 1. We get minus x minus 1 subtract that, uh, and overall we get 6. So the remainder, C, as you can see at the bottom of the page there, don't forget to fill that in, is equal to 6. So that's question 1. 
How are the marks going for this? Well, for part A, it was a 10 mark question, 10 mark question, where it says if you had B squared minus 4AC equals to zero involved, uh, if you substituted in for A, B, and C and solved for M, those were the three steps. You got low partial credit for identifying either A, B, or C, in this case here. If you did it by differentiation, or if you did it by a perfect square, which we didn't, or divided everything by three, that got you a low partial credit of three marks. For the high partial credit, seven marks would be two of the three steps I said correct. So B squared minus 4AC equal to zero, and subbing in for A, B, and C, that got you seven. And then solving for M overall would have got you 10 marks. So by subbing in here, we got seven and 10 marks there for part A. Part B, five marks. Part B, five marks. So for two marks, no partial credit, because the scale was zero, two, and five, you have to do some work of merit. For example, mention that a squared number is non-negative. If you had some transposition of seven, if you did something with that, because there are different ways to do it, or some correct work in this expansion, like we did there, that will give you two marks. But everything we've done here got us a total of five, all about noticing the, the question that it is. And then part C actually was worth 15 marks, would you believe? 15 marks. So for part one, part one and part two, they were actually here together. These were scaled together. So um, what it says, if you wanted the low partial credit of four marks, you all you had to do was sub something in here. That got you to the four. If you mention x plus one or substitute to the quadratic formula, that's fine. For the mid partial credit, you would have to get part one correct and some work of merit in part two. For example, divided in or whatever, something like that. And high partial credit will be part one correct and part two having real substantial work but not getting it fully correct. So we've got a mid partial credit of eight, a high partial credit of 12, or if you did not get part one correct and got part two fully correct, you got 12. For full marks of 15, you had to get both of them. They did say full credit minus one, so not drop to high partial, you would get 14 out of 15 if you did correct, but you did not identify the answer at the end. So definitely important to do whatever they say with the answer itself.